Concerns over the coronavirus spread. Concerns grow over grocery stores and restaurants. Cairo 7's Matthew Smith is looking into what's at stake and who's keeping you safe. Well, this is a good news, bad news situation. The good news, well, the coronavirus, it isn't known to live on the food that you eat. The bad news, well, as the plot thickens, how the government reacts to the coronavirus, the FDA, it's doing less food inspections in foreign countries. Not doing those inspections means we'll have one less safeguard that we usually have available to protect against foodborne risks. Sarah Sorcher is with the Center for Science in the Public Interest. Her concern, a lack of FDA inspections. The foot traffic in our area has dropped. The virus affecting more than people. Travel restrictions also means a cut in food inspections. This week, we learned about a listeria outbreak tied to enoki mushrooms from Korea. It's those type of storylines that remind the public the work done by the FDA matters. Imported foods are, st foods are still being screened at the border, and there's still precautions being taken by businesses and third parties. So it's not time to panic just yet on food. So what is the concern right now? When it comes to the coronavirus, it's more about how close you get to one another while you're actually out and about shopping. We got to still eat food. <laughs> I try not to worry too much, but I mean, we're all just worried, I think. We're going to talk to that mother and doctors about those necessity trips, the things you have to do, going to the grocery store to get food to eat so your family and you can get through this coronavirus mess. That's coming up in our next hour. Reporting in Seattle, I'm Matthew Smith, Cairo 7 News.